Hello, so we start doing the eye. So I created a group called the eye and I added a layer inside. Uh, so I just call it eye black layer. Then I'm going to use a brush, sharp brush, 100%. Then I'll start uh, crafting the black area of the eye. I color pick, you can color pick here, which is a dark spot of the eye area. And just aim at the black color area first. So we need the eye folder because it's probably a bit good to have a bit more organization for the eyes. Uh, we're going to have a few layers, simple layers, but we need to be clear. Okay, the next one, maybe I'll call this uh, eye shadow. So eye shadow, which is, you know, like uh, how girls do their makeup, the top part of the eye, make it a bit darker. Top part of the eye, make it a bit darker. And then I'll use my smudge brush to smudge downward. So let it have a gradient downwards like this. Uh, gradient downwards like this. Let there be a gradient. Okay. Something like that. Okay, so that's a gradient from top to bottom. Actually, I want to make a bit of gradient from bottom to top also. So a bit of gradient from bottom to top. Uh, probably cannot see, so I'll change the layer to multiply. By changing it to multiply, it looks very dark. But uh, later we can put down the opacity, so it will work out. Oh, so so. The eye corner, that's this gradient uh, from top and bottom of the eye. We have a gradient, bottom to top, top to bottom, something like that. Okay. Put down the opacity, which is the fill. Go all the way to 25%. Okay, so just a little bit. Actually, I'll keep it to 40%. Nice. Okay, so now I want to make the eye white. I white layer. Okay, so all this is in my eye group. Okay, I white layer, which is the white parts of the eye. So I cut a grab here. Okay, now I can apply this. So I have this white part on top. I apply a bit of white and then I smudge. So same for the highlight here. So I probably want to zoom in a bit just to make sure I get the highlight. 100% correct. Normally I don't zoom a lot, uh, you know how I pin. Probably just for a highlight. Make sure. And then, okay, so I want to make sure this highlight, not say this highlight, this white area of the eye is not too strong, not too overpowering, just enough over here. Erase off the rest. Just keep a bit over there. If I blur blush, blur it a bit more. Okay, use my dodge brush to just dodge the center. So you see that the center part here a bit brighter. So I want to hit make here a bit brighter also. So dodge, dodge here a bit brighter. And then also, just now I didn't use pure white. So if I use pure white, I'm not able to brighten it anymore, you see? So now I'm still able to brighten it because I'm not using pure white. Smart. Don't use pure white. Okay, so I can, by not using pure white, I can make my highlight bright too. So. Alright, so I have my highlight. Now it looks like the ship is uh, coming to life, you know, finally. Because the eye is an important part. So once we have the eye and the highlight, it starts to become more lively. Okay, so now uh, probably at the bottom, I want to have an eye, what to call it, a reflection at the bottom. So which is the bottom part here. So you this hard how we normally paint or color is to have the a U shape following below. So it has a U shape over here, have a U shape over there. So we want to have a bit of the white color again, following just the bottom part. Okay, so just a U shape, U shape. Keep it simple. U shape. Keep it simple. Put down the opacity. Keep the U shape there, and then for the rest, I'll just smudge it. Smudge it. 
uh, use your a bit of your artistic sense to feel where this to stop. Don't need to be too too uh, accurate or don't need to be too exact. And you know roughly it is there. Okay. So I have something soft over there. Actually, I want to do another one. That's not bad, but maybe I want to have two. One is softer, one is harder. And it depends. Depends on how you want to do it. No, oh, the can have a different color also for the eye if you want to. I'll just keep it following the reference because obviously our exercise is to follow close to the reference, and that's what we have. Okay, blue highlight of the ship. Actually, let me just adjust this a little bit more. Push blue highlight slightly, ever so slightly. Push the blue highlight ever so slightly. Okay, and then the center part of the blue highlight, I can even uh, dodge just a little bit. I, I want to keep this very subtle, very, very subtle. So that just at the center part. Very, very subtle. Okay. And then now to finish up. So on top of the eyes, actually I'll put it at the bottom. Uh, just now we haven't do the blush. The brush area, so a bit of grab a bit of uh, actually you color pick probably not very efficient, so I'll just grab my own colors, go to a bit reddish, and then not too red, so maybe somewhere like this here. I'll think of like the girl brushing, how the face look like, what kind of color is that? So probably a color like this, reddish or orangey. Oh, so I'll just make it soft, go across a little bit to the other side. There we go. You can overshot a bit, it's okay. And uh, you can make it a, f a bit too strong at the start, it's okay. Because later, obviously, we can opacity down. So that's the good thing about doing digital. We can always put down the opacity. Okay, so this one I can call it blush. Blush. Way lower, way lower. This is this this thing has to be subtle, and then uh okay, and then the eye area actually I'll not let it affect the eye at all. Perhaps just now when I paint the eye, the silhouette is not exactly uh one hundred percent. So so I do need to make sure it doesn't attack any of my eye area. So the blush only affects the center part. Then let me just zoom out to see if I mess up anything. Have an overview of your painting. Always very important to zoom out. Um, actually, let me just uh maybe just this area here. I want it to be a bit softer. So if I want to do that, I can also let's say I can go to um and select. This area and go to a blur Gaussian blur. So I can actually Gaussian blur apply Gaussian blur on just that area there. Which works, but the edges also become softer, so I need to remove some of it. Okay, 
So it, if it does well, um, your painting will not need the line work. Okay, so if you paint it well, when you off the line work, your painting should still hold up. Okay, if your painting doesn't hold up when you off the line work, then uh, you need to go back and touch up a bit more. So ideally, um, uh, obviously I'm just doing the steps, but I should go in and clean up this uh silhouette area. So for example, this area here, I can make it a bit cleaner. Uh, that's because of how I magic wand just now to quickly get the outcome. Then uh. If not, uh, when we off the line work, it should still be working very well. Okay, so we can also reduce the line work. So we only use half the line work. Or you can use line work on selected areas. So you duplicate the line work, then you only use one of the line work. So let's say I call this line work adjusted. And then I would create a mask. And then with this mask, right, the brighter spots, I'll apply a layer mask to it so it doesn't have any line work on the bright spots. And then the darker spots will have some line work to help. So what it does is that it create, helps you create some thick and thin line for your painting. Obviously, the best is you don't need any lines for your painting. But if you don't have time, or you want to have something in between the two. Uh, sometimes there's lines, sometimes there's not lines. Ah, that is also a very good part of your treatment here. So you can also do line treatment. Oh, obviously, I'm using layer mask, so I can always bring it back if I want to. So I disable the layer mask, I can bring it back. All right, so next video, I'll show you how to color correct into these three chips. All right, see you. Bye-bye.